I think I'm finally getting somewhere with this project. This is the latest edition, which took only 18 hours to print. Holy smokes! On my Minda, I definitely need like the 300 millimeter a second printer because I already checked that would take like four or five hours, and that would be perfect. Since this is the first iteration, I obviously want to make changes now. So this is all done. Yeah, the power delivery, the uh, DIN rail action, that's all here. I've uh, showcased this before. I think I'll put a link up for you to have a look if you're interested. Now this bit. Hmm. What have what, what have I done here? I started off with a little baseline uh, holder. Let me just grab the first uh, prototype I was working on just to get a drift of the holes and the terminal block, how it will all get in. And after that, I obviously create the version uh, 2, which is installed here, as you can nicely tell. So it's got the holes over here. That work the same way as these ones and they obviously have a strain relief at the bottom so this will be the negative plus a and b that will be delivered to the arduino to get the power and the a and b will be delivered here to get the uh, communication for the modbus that i'm using so Another interesting thing, I obviously botched it, but for the first version I thought, ah, that'll be just good enough. The uh, problem with uh, having this enclosed, okay, is what happens when you want to update the G-code, oh, not the G-code, the sketch. <laughs> and yeah, that's an issue because you would need to unscrew all of these to take the top lid and take this out and take the little pin that keeps them together blah 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 so i thought i'll design a little um, i'm not sure what i'm looking for yet a little thing a switch that's outside so even if this is all you know uh closed up you can uncouple these two and you can upload the sketch so that's why you're seeing the USB cable at the top, right? So we will obviously be able to uh, seal this off and center the table. It might be dangling all the time somewhere here. I don't know, but I might create some sort of an extra uh, wire management thing, cable management for it. And that way, what you do is you uncouple this plug this to your laptop and upload the sketch and you're done that kind of saves a lot of money me thinks so that's the general idea i'm going with this is version one obviously and as per you know i already got the oh this is the other way around i already printed the lid it's nice and shiny black and it'll look awesome Oof, real nice. All of them, I think, will have a black one just to match the theme. So I'm finally ready to uh, start doing some modbusing, I think. These are the basic ones. However, I did mess up here because I didn't add a, a cable strain relief. I think I need to make some of these uh, parts more streamlined so I can just add them as little blocks. So I know I've tried something, it's working the way I want it, add it rather than, you know, always try to memorize, oh, in this design I use this and I'll forget some other cool things I've already uh, put through their paces and tried out that work. I obviously got the O-ring thing all figured out, all the, uh, what you call it, the depths and the groove and cuts for to use the TPU as the sealant, sealant as the seal. And uh, yeah, these, maybe if you can tell, here we go. Now it's in focus. It's got the nice amount of that groove that goes in just enough. So yeah, we are here and this is the Arduino 
Uno enclosure. It has the real-time clock as well. So it is quite fat. Yeah, I agree. It's like 65 millimeters, but it's perfect. And yeah, the Modbus project is getting some love. So uh, thanks for watching.